today's video, I decided I would play some more Call of Duty multiplayer, and this time I decided I would hit up my Discord and let everyone know that if they wanted to be in a video to join me at a certain time, and we played, I think, anywhere from like five to six multiplayer games, and it went really well. It really went really well. Um, I decided I was going to use three different classes for three different games, uh, which you will see here shortly, and the point of this video really was to grind for the blue dot, yes, the blue dot site. It is supposedly really, really good to have. It's like kind of like a, like a subtle flex in Call of Duty, uh, uh, you know, amongst the, uh, you know, the pro scene and like the grinders, the streamers, all that good stuff. So I wanted to get the blue dot for you guys. So I figured why not record some of the gameplay. So we play three games with three different classes, all grinding for the blue dot. So if you're not currently subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for more ASMR gaming content. Would really like to hit 25,000 subscribers in the next couple of months. We are well on our way to 20K. So if you're not currently subscribed, which over 50% of you guys still are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Let's get into those classes and those gameplays. All right, so for game number one, we have the UMB, AKA the Striker 45. These are the attachments that I used. I have not yet maxed this weapon out. I kind of wanted to max it out, and I gotta say, this gun slaps, absolutely slaps. It's very, very versatile with these attachments. Uh, I, you know, I'm not saying these are the best attachments. I'm just saying these were the attachments that I used for this video. I think they're really good for multiplayer. I don't know about Warzone. There's there's a difference between multiplayer classes and Warzone classes. Warzone, you want you want more like range and damage. I feel like, and uh, maybe multiplayer, you want a little bit more mobility. It's uh, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what kind of weapons you like to use for multiplayer. But we got the monolithic suppressor, we got the TAC laser, the APX5 holographic sight, which, oddly enough, we got 200 kills with that sight. So now we gotta get 50 headshots, uh, which we will be doing uh, late at, at a later date. But we have the Merc foregrip and slide a hand on so this thing really slaps as you will see in this gameplay coming right up all right so for game number one we are on rust playing cranked yes cranked this is a really fun game mode and i'm going to be doing some controller sounds in the background so uh, just a heads up, again, this is, in fact, pre-recorded gameplay, but yes, I promise, it's me. As we get melted for the first kill, we really uh, get into a stride here in a second. Uh, this thing, like the ADS speed on this gun, it is so fast, and it hits hard. It really does hit hard. Uh, watch this little... Uh, some, at some point in this game, I get a double kill in that corner. I guess it's not there, but kind of trying to feel out the lobby, see what everyone's doing. Everyone's kind of sniping here. Oh, that's right. I forgot we were playing cranked, and uh, unfortunately, I explode. <laughs> so that's the last time that that happens to us, but... <laughs> Look at that, boom, throwing knife, boom, slide under the shots, double kill, there's that double kill, we pop that silence, we get that triple kill, baby, we get this guy, not quite the quad, and then we get sniped in the side, a lot of these guys were using snipers, marksman rifles, we got this, we got that guy slipping there, I'm gonna go 
up. Just kidding. I really like to play, <laughs> as I shoot my teammate in the back, I really like to play, like, kind of close to the middle. I don't like to go around the edges all that much, like, really underneath there. Just slide back and forth between there. Here we go. Here we go. Trying to get the throwing knife right there. Barely missed the throwing knife. It bounced off the wall. Here we go. Boom. Melted. Boom. Melted. Double kill. Triple kill. Pull out the pistol for the quad feed, baby. Guys, I know that this is an ASMR channel, but uh, at some point, you know, your boy is going to start making some IRL, like, gaming content. And uh, if things go according to plan and we do become a full-time content creator, uh, I hope that you guys would tune in to just a normal gaming stream here on YouTube or on Twitch. But anyways, let's get back to the commentary. Look at these guys. We got them slipping. Yeah, that's a double kill. That dude wasn't even on this planet. Oh no, I messed up here. I messed up here. We used the stems. Waiting on him to pop back out. I know he's coming. Just kidding. We're gonna go back this way. So, another thing that I wanted to get used to is using stem. I mean, look how, look how hard, hard this, this gun hits. I mean, this gun hits hard. Look at that. We got our feet tall. I had to pull out our pistol because I ran out of ammo. Like, completely out of ammo. Uh, one thing I wanted to do was get used to the stems. I have not really used the stems at all this year. Um, it's really been a long time since I've like mained multiplayer and with Cold War coming out soon and it looks like Cold War, everyone has a stem. It's going to be similar to the way Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3 were where you get shot up a little bit. You can, you know, press LB stem up and be back at full health without having to wait for the you know the regeneration effect or to take effect but uh yeah melt it i mean look at this this gun is a laser beam i highly recommend it for multiplayer uh i went with the 25 round the base mags with um as we're trying to find a place to to park that uh that harrier but it's going to be the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend going with this setup in Warzone again, but for multiplayer, as you can see, it gets the job done with the quad feeds, baby. CMP going ham on rust. All right, so for game number two, we're going to be running the CR-56 AMAX, uh, another gun that I have yet to rank up all the way, and this is the setup that we were using. I uh, kind of wanted to go with more of an SMG style of weapon. You know, the Zodiac is definitely the barrel of choice, at least I think it is. Maybe, maybe it's that level 59 barrel, but the Zodiac would be more of a Warzone class. But I wanted more of an SMG, so we went with the intruder barrel. I don't quite have the monolithic unlocked, so we had to go with the lightweight suppressor. We go with the 45 round mags, and then of course we gotta have that, that holographic sight because we are grinding for that blue dot. Anything that that blue dot needs is what we go with. But this is the class setup that I use for this next game. Alright, game number two. Beep the watch, though. Beep the GPS watch. That's so dope. That's so dope. Uh, we are playing Bank on Scrapyard, one of my favorite maps from Modern Warfare 2. This game was crazy. The ending is insane. If you don't use Point Man on Bank, you are doing it wrong for sure you're doing it wrong and as a matter of fact <laughs> the beginning of this game i was actually talking to my girlfriend on the phone and i was just like trying to survive i actually got a kill while on the phone uh, we got sniped there though unfortunately so the point of this game mode is to pick up a bunch of tags and bring them to the bank
whenever you get a kill, someone drops a tag, and by the end of the game, there are like so many tags all over the place that it's insane and like impossible to not get your score streaks if you have point man turned on. So again, boom, boom, got those two tags. It's two tags towards my score streaks. Not only that, when I died, someone else picked up all of my tags. So when I kill him, I will get all the tags back. And it basically just like multiplies every time. Like I have boom, 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 boom. As I get sniped right there. <laughs> this man's use wait. Wait, oh no. I didn't get sniped, I got shotgunned. I got the underbarrel, the beef eater shotgun on the FAL. My gosh. Here we go. Uh pushing up to A now. Look at this guy. I think I was still on the phone. And as soon as we get off the phone, guys, we're gonna turn it up. Just you wait. We pop dead silence. Poppin' daddy. Papa daddy. And we are cruising. Okay, so boom 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 boom. Look at that. We get that kill. Grab those tags. Turn back towards A and get that kill. And we have seven tags currently. Now we have nine. Look at that. Boom. Boom. We banked some tags. Get some more score. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm able to get... Wait, maybe I do. Maybe I do. There we go. This guy thought he could uh, do a little halo jump. Nah, fam. Look at that. Triple kill, baby. Get our VTOLs. Get the mega bank. We actually could have really racked up some score right there, but we unfortunately died on the bank. They probably capitalize on that, actually. But uh, we're calling our Harriers, and we are rolling now. So about now is when there's just a ton of tags all over the battlefield, and people are trying to do their best to get to the bank. So we get a nice little double kill there. Ranked up to 49 on our AMAX. This guy, man, look at this. This guy's got a riot shield. My teammate's got a riot shield. I just run out there and I was trying to do a slide, but then the bouncing Betty. We got a mega bank. We get our score streaks again. Look how fast we're getting our score streaks because of point man. We got our VTOL again, basically off of doing nothing. Uh, bank what we got, triple kill. Look at all these just, just air streak, the, the air, I said air streaks, air strikes and, and just score streaks out here just killing everything in sight. Oh man, when you have a full party of six, it's really hard to, uh, to just like not dominate. <laughs> If you got six people that are all on track and all know what they're doing, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So definitely looking for like a comp six to play with when Cold War drops. And especially when that day comes where we go full time, I'm going to need some peeps to be playing Modern Warfare or the next Call of Duty and the next Call of Duty after that. I'm definitely a Call of Duty head. I want Call of Duty to be more of a uh, kind of a thing on this channel and future channels to come. But look at this guy. Poor guy was getting melted by the VTOL, and here's where things get interesting. So we're nearing the end of the game here. I can pretty much game it if I scored all those. If I scored all those, it would have been game. Watch this. Watch this guy. Watch how many tags out of this guy coming up here at the end try and get a lucky throwing knife kill look at this oh my lord look at all those tags look at all those tags and he just rains tags this guy tries to oh my god look at all the tags i mean whatever score streaks you have you got them now i mean after picking up all of that you definitely have your tags watch the watch the replay Watch the replay. You definitely would have your score streaks if you picked up all of those with Point Man on. Look at that. Watch this. He just rains tags. I mean, that's got to be like 40 tags right there. <laughs> Crazy. 23 kills, 6 deaths. Not too shabby of a game there. Not too shabby. All right, now game number three is using the AN-94. I'm 
actually using the level 100 AN94 from season 5. The company's might. It's got these like explosive tracer rounds, I think. Uh, shadow tracer rounds. They're like kind of spooky, kind of like um, immortal round. I, I don't know why immortal. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but these were the attachments that I used on it, the Sonic Break. I actually go with the factory barrel, uh, the factory 438 millimeter, which I think is the preferred barrel of Warzone. The TAC laser, again, the holographic sight, because we're grinding for that blue dot, and the commando foregrip. So, highly suggest this class right here, which you will see in this gameplay. Alright, so last, but certainly not least, we have the AN-94, and again, we're playing Team Defender on a Scrapyard. This is probably the longest game of the three. Uh, Team Defender can either go really fast or really, really long. So we get that little jump shot. I can't remember if I mentioned previously, but... I'm now using my Xbox Elite controller to its full potential. Well, I guess not full potential, only half potential. Uh, I am using the battles, two of the battles on the back to, uh, as we melt that guy. So I have my right battle mapped to my jump button and my left battle mapped to my crouch button. So. Basically, it allows me to slide cancel a lot easier around the map, which I don't really slide cancel all that much in multiplayer, because it's just not really, like, maybe outside of, like, search and destroy, maybe search and destroy, I would do it a little bit more, but uh, running around in, like, a mosh pit style, I'm not going to sweat like that, guys, I'm not, I'm not going to do it, because that guy's just waiting for me to come out that door, he knew I was there, but takes a little while to get going on this game, but we hit our stride here in like the mid to late game. There's a little slide for you. Easy slide. And we melt that guy. Check out those tracers though. The spooky Halloween style shadow tracers. Really cool. I need to start using this gun more. The AN94 really melts. It honestly melts. That, that quick little double burst, just like bang bang, and then just the rest. It hits hard, it hits really hard. It was one of my favorite guns back in, like, what, Black Ops 2, right? I think it was Black Ops 2 that the AN-94 was introduced. It was one of my favorites, for sure, for sure, for sure. We got this guy, look at him, get melted, buddy. You're lucky your friend was there before I could stem up. <laughs> I usually use quick fix, but like I said, I want to kind of force myself to start using these stems because I can guarantee you quick fix won't be a perk in, so we get a nice little, just a casual triple kill, a casual Kingslayer buzz kill, we get somebody sliding up behind us. Oh man, that guy was like sweating this whole game, he was my like arch enemy this whole game, he was like the only one killing me pretty much for the most part. Um, but, yeah, so, I doubt Quick Fix will be a perk in Cold War. Look at this, boom, boom, double kill, easy, easy kill on the flat carrier. This guy thinks he can slide and kill me. No, sir. Not the day, not the day, not ever. I'll go ahead and melt you right quick. Thinking you can run off with my flag. Nah, fam, nah, give me that flag. Oh, this is where I messed up. I pulled out. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I need to get rid of that cluster strike. I'm not a fan of the cluster strike in, like, a non-shipment map. <laughs> when I was playing shipment, it was a really good kill streak because you would just, like, spawn in, call it in, and it would get you, like, two to three kills every single time because the map is just so small, but try and throw a knife at that guy because I knew that was the only chance I had at survival. Uh, outside of that first throwing knife, I don't really get much else when it comes to throwing knives. A couple near misses, but here we go. This guy, 
unfortunately kills my teammate before I can save him. This guy over here, look at you go, bud. Nah, fam. We pick up this MP7. Was able to get that kill. Pop the stem. Oh, that guy was, that guy was oblivious to me. Get a kill stolen right there from us. Nice little 75 point assist. Pop our dead silence. We're like in just uncharted waters here. We got this guy and I just missed. I whiffed so hard. All of those shots just whiffed so hard. We pick up that flag though. We gotta pick up the flag. Somebody hits us with like an EMP grenade, I guess. Uh, I can't do anything with like score streaks. I th well, I guess I can. Maybe it's a counter UAV. For some reason, counter UAVs like counter all of your intelligence and stuff. It's like an EMP almost. I don't know what happened. Well, you guys let me know in the comment section. You guys know better than me. What happened to me right there? Was that a counter UAV? Was that a, uh, look at this. I'm out of stems, unfortunately. If I wasn't out of stems, I could have maybe pulled off something there. But, uh, yeah. We're just trying our best to win this game. Look at that bouncing Betty just chilling right there. And we got this guy. He nearly kills me. I thought for sure he was going to peek back. That's why I kept shooting. I knew he wasn't there, but I thought he was just going to step right into my, my gunshots. We got shot in the back there. This guy with... Was it an MP5? Yep, MP5. We, we spawn back in and just kill him immediately, though. Uh, trying our best to defend our flag carrier. Trying to get this comeback victory, but I don't think it's going to work out for us. I don't think it's going to work out for us. I'm getting a little bit too far away from my flag carrier here, but kind of reel it back in. Oh, <laughs> point blank headshot. I was getting headshots this entire, like, dang near entire session. Just like, I feel like half my kills were just headshots. But, um, yeah, just trying to, trying to, oh, this guy, that's right. This guy killed, called in a <laughs> care package on top of the roof. And it was bringing a lot of attention over here. A lot of people were like trying to come steal the care package or grab the care package. Look at that. I mean, look how fast you kill people with this gun. I, if I hadn't gotten killed right there, that was going to be a nice little kill chain right there. But fortunately, we got snubbed. We got snubbed. Look at this guy. Oh, gets destroyed by an RPG. <laughs> That RPG was destructive. Here we go. Look at that. Boom. Headshot. Look at that. Locked on his head. Locked on it. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this guy gets a triple kill on us. He's just mounted and chilling right there on that wall. That's when I knew it was over. They call in the Harrier. That's a GG. All they gotta do is pretty much grab the flag. The flag actually resets. I still think they grab it. Um, I'm kind of turned around watching our backside. Get that kill right there. Get the headshot. This guy thinks he can kill me, but I still... Oh. Yikes. Okay, he did kill me. I, I remember being very mad when that happened. That, that should have been my kill. 100%. And we unfortunately lose. But 29 and 12, not too bad. That was like three really positive games. All of them at least 2.0 KDs. I'm pretty sure that was that snap and a half right there. My god. My boy just... Oh, and then I melt him. <laughs> oh man, good times. Good times. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're wondering what I'm gonna do with my sign, I think I've got some help coming over tomorrow to hang it up behind me. I'm gonna move that poster right there to this wall and put that sign right where that poster is. So, in case you guys were wondering, uh, it's not just gonna sit on the ground right there and I will adjust the camera settings to maybe, uh, hopefully it'll show up a little
little bit better. It's just kind of like a bright light in the corner right now. I'm kind of waiting to get it hung up before I do anything further, but love you guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not currently subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I am just a guy in his basement trying to play video games for entertainment. So if you're watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. And if you're watching this at night, then have a great night. Sleep. And good night.